Okay, we're gonna we're gonna go through and do a uh, little bit of wiring. I'm gonna show you how to solder onto a Pizio, and I'm gonna show you how to wire a three-way switch into a volume and tone control. Uh, you can use this for your cigar box guitars, and you can also use this um, really on any guitar, anything that you're gonna control volume and and tone. Um, first thing we're gonna do is solder the Pizios. What I like to do first with my Pizios is to basically kind of pre-tin the Pizio. Put my solder on. Now the Pizios I've got you can you can do in two different spots. We're, you only need to do one of them. So we're going to do this one that's right here next to the ground. You need one on the ground and one on the disc. Now what I like to do is basically get the solder on my tip and just touch it down on there because if you hold it on that ceramic for more than a second you'll burn the ceramic off. It's just so thin. So just a real quick tap to get the solder down on there. Now what I like to do next is to go ahead and, and put a little solder on my wires. Like I said, that ceramic on the Peugeot, it's thin. I'd say it's thinner than paper. So if you put the heat on it too long, you're going to burn through it and you're going to waste Peugeot. So by pre tinning the Peugeot, giving it a few seconds to cool, and pre tinning the wires, then when it's time to put the wire on there, you're not on that with the heat, but just a second. So I'm going to do my ground first. Then I'm going to do my hot lead. Just takes a second. So you just got to go enough to get that to melt down in there. Easy enough. Now that my so Pizios are soldered, one thing I like to do, and it's just going to save you a little bit of aggravation down the road, that ceramic, again, can pop off pretty easy. So what I like to do is take and put just a little dab of hot glue over my wire and the hot lead so it doesn't pull off the disc. It's a small thing, but you go bending those wires on your Pizio to try and position them and you pop that off and ruin your disc, you're going to be a little bit upset. So, like I said, just a little dab of hot glue on there keeps you from pulling that wire up. It secures the wire down to the disc and kind of covers the disc, so if it's going to pull anything up, it's got to pull the whole thing up. Alright, I'll set those aside. Well, now the first thing I like to do when I'm doing my wiring is I like to coat the back of my pots with solder. Just a thin, even coating so no matter where I put a wire, I'm going to have a good connection between the wires because of the solder. Just a nice even coating. Okay. Now, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring my wires from my jack. You have the tip, which comes up to this lug, and then you have the sleeve, which comes up to here. Typically your sleeve is your ground. So the first connection I'm going to make is from my sleeve. through there. I like solid wire rather than stranded. There's a lot of different things you can do. I like the cloth pushback wire the most. Um, I think it's a little easier to work with. You don't have to strip the ends. But for this, we're going to use just regular, uh, I think it's 24 gauge wire. Alright, I have my ground on. Now before you move any wire after you've soldered it, give it a second so you don't end up with a cold joint. 
All right, so I'm going to leave a little slack on there. Got that. Again, a little pre tinning on the wire didn't hurt any. And then we're just going to stick it to the back of our volume pot. Okay. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is bring our hot wire from the jack. It's going to go to the center lug on our volume pot. Let's first hook it to the jack. Okay. Again, the center lug on the volume pot. Alright, now, the next thing I like to do with a three, and this is a three-way switch, like a fender style three, well, it's a generic of a fender style three-way switch, is I need to bring my ground from here to my volume pot. When you do your soldering, one thing that I, I had a hard time with and I learned some time ago was your, your solder should look like it's wet. It should be shiny. If it's kind of hazy or um, it doesn't look like it's wet, then you've probably moved it and it's a cold joint. You want to avoid that if at all possible. All right, we're going to connect to the ground on our switch. And there we have our ground. Let's pull this out of the way so it would be easy to see the next wire. Now the next wire I like to put in is you on your volume pot, you ground it back to the pot. The, uh, from the top, it would be your left hand leg. Now, what I like to do there, on some pots, you can just bend that tab up and touch it to the pot. Um, these don't quite work that well like that. So I just like to take a piece of wire and bend it up over the top. Stay up there. Okay. There we go. Again, from the left hand lug. Let's see if we can bend that up there now. From the left hand lug up to the top of the pot. Or I guess the bottom, whichever way you want to look at that. All right, now, let's 
the next thing I like to do, next step, is I ground both pots together. To do that, I need to put a little bit more solder on here. I basically take and run a ground. from one pot to the other. Okay. Now, next thing is we're going to connect um, our volume to our tone. Go from the center lug on our tone and then it goes to the right hand lug on our volume pot. Now I'm not going to solder that one yet because our piezo, or actually I'm sorry, our three-way switch will connect there. Uh, next thing I'm going to hook up is we're going to put a capacitor on our tone. That's, this is what gives it that, uh, that it varies the sound on our tone. I'm going to stick the one leg down in and from the top it would be the left hand lug and then you just ground the capacitor to the back of the pot. tricky getting in there. I turn that, you won't be able to see me solder it, but you'll know that's what we're doing. We can go underneath here. Should put my ground on after that, I guess. Okay, there we go. The capacitors soldered in. Alright, the tone side of that's all done. And other than our wire coming from our three-way, our volume pot's done. Let's do that next. Let's put our wire from the volume to the three-way. We're basically going to connect into this first lug of the volume pot. Take that to the center of our three-way switch. There's all oh, three, four, five, six, seven lugs on our three-way, and we're going to go to the center lug. Okay, now that we've got that on there, let's solder. Oh, I already got that. Okay, so we're basically all done with the volume pots, the jacks. Now we just got to wire um, our three way switch. Now, with this, a three way switch basically gives you a choice of front pickup, back pickup, and then a blend of both. What we're going to do is we're going to connect the hot from one of the pickups into the second lug. Put a little curl on that so it'll go through. Into the second lug on the front. And then the hot from the second lug from the back. Now that I've got those lugs on there, what we're 
we're going to do is take and stick a little short piece of wire into that lug and lay it across the back lug back here. By connecting those two is what gives you the, you know, this one is actually the front, that's the back, and then these two connect to the center. So, we'll solder there, and we'll solder there. Okay, and then we can just take our cutters and nip off this little excess piece of wire here. Now, we're going to do the same thing back here. Nip off the excess. All right, the last thing we got to do is just connect our grounds from the pickups. Now, be, the, be it piezos or any magnetic pickup, it, the premise really works the same. You're taking the hot to the switch and grounding to the pot. Okay, now if we've done it right, let's bring these back to where we can see them. Actually, what we're going to do is we're going to tilt that up sideways. We got a little practice amp here on the workbench. Let's We're in the center position, so both pickups should work. Our volume works. Let's see what we got for tone. Okay, we got good tone. Let's see if our front and back positions work. See, that one's dead in the front position, but it works in the back. This one's dead in the back, works in the middle, works in the front. So, there you go. Volume, tone, three-way switch, two pickups, volume and tone. I uh, hope that helps. I know getting that... Uh, I burned up a lot of solder and a lot of wiring when I first started trying to figure out how to do these things, but once you've do it, done it a few times, um, really it's not that complicated. Um, next series I do, I'll show you how to, instead of a three-way switch, to do like a Les Paul style toggle. So I hope that helps. Um, if there's anything you want to see done that, you, that would help you out in building, uh, shoot me an email and let me know. Thanks!